Hi Aries, welcome to your daily reading. So I can see right away in the astrology today we have this enormous, intense, stellium lineup of Mars, the Sun, Mercury, and the Moon in Libra with rising Scorpio and Venus about to exit Scorpio. So the good news is when Venus move, is at zero degrees of Sagittarius, and it moves out of the planet of death and or the sign of death and destruction and rebirth it means we don't want to destroy the things that we actually love which is venus so venus is love and beauty and everything that we cherish and as it moves into the house of higher education learning and information philosophy you actually appreciate a higher perspective of things you want to learn new things you um it's not so much that you want to you know completely tear something apart it's more like you want to learn and educate yourself or gain a new understanding of things that you love and truly cherish and care about so it's like if your um partner or friend does something you really truly care about this person but they really do something that irritates you instead of never speaking to them again and just or you know getting angry at them Scorpio would be um, trying to understand the person and understand their side of a situation because we do have a yod we have the Sun in Libra creating a yod from Uranus to Neptune so there's a fantasy a rebellion liberation there's some kind of rebellion that's based on fantasy things that aren't real coming up to fairness equality and balance and beauty of libra so it's kind of like trying to create the ideal partnership but is it possible without sort of losing yourself so um Self-acceptance self and self-love, uh, as well as having balance. Libra is about balance. So there's a need for balance and understanding as well. Venus in Sagittarius, a need for higher learning and higher perspective, you know, understanding someone else. Okay, so we have this yod. We also have a T-square with the moon. So we have emotions, the moon moving into Scorpio, zero degrees. So actually zero degrees is intense because it's, uh, I don't exactly know why zero degrees is intense energy, but it is on the cusp of Libra into emotional and um, destructive Scorpio. So if your emotions take over, um, it's squared to Pluto. And so, you know, there's a need um, it's a line, it's squared actually, I'm sorry, to Saturn. It is squared to Pluto and Capricorn. This is very self-destructive energy where if something is not fair, it's not equal or balanced, um, you, it, it, this is a very self-destructive energy. So just keep in mind, be mindful of your own emotions. The moon is your emotions, your receptivity, your, um, your nurturing side um it could lead to feelings where you don't feel um cared about saturn retrograde um in opposition to leo with the moon squared to leo um highly emotional energy here pluto aligning with neptune something is more like a fantasy it's not real it could be overblown or over exaggerated not as bad as it appears to be it's not the end of the world um honestly um it may definitely might feel like the end of the world the moon in scorpio feels just like a rabbit hole it feels like the end of the world but venus in sagittarius is really good because um mars in libra is good it's at a detriment it's not um it can't really expand in Libra because Libra is all about the balance and Mars is all about the action and fighting for what's right. So this could be either fighting for justice or it sort of makes Mars be subdued. 
like not so angry and not so hostile because it's asking for peace um so Aries I feel like you can temper your emotions or your your temper by seeking first to understand the situation and gain a perspective learn more about the other person and what what is what it is that's driving that person and also realizing that something may feel like the end of the world but it's not the end of the world um okay yeah t square and a rectangle i see a yod here between neptune up to uranus straight up to the sun and then back down i can see this yod which is the hand of fate or destiny it's a boiling point it's like a volcano it's like where you feel like it's so intense that you feel like um you're, it's like we're when you're imagining worst case scenarios and then it's like it takes over and then you could feel like you're going down a rabbit hole however it's not with venus if you truly care about yourself or another person or you care about your career seek first to understand and gain an understanding a higher perspective philosophy educate yourself that's all the energy of sagittarius so okay so what do we have i'm going to pull one of these cards from the um, illuminated tarot what are we getting for aries today what do we have for aries Aries, general reading for the first house. Ooh. Um, so this is an eight of swords, um, a need to balance the mind. Your mind could be just thinking about a lot of things. You could have a lot of different ideas going on in your mind. We do have a Queen of Wands energy. I think I made a mistake yesterday. I called this Queen of Pentacles. This is the Queen of Wands. Fiery energy. I'm just going to keep going with this deck. Having a lot of concerns, ideas, thoughts in your mind. You may lack clarity at this time. You may feel like somebody is trying to keep something hidden from you. But in the crossing is fire sign energy feeling very very confident and um, you are very confident in yourself Aries please today okay look at this we're getting the queen of swords underlying smart witty articulate straightforward the energy of libra very no nonsense you might be having to cut through some conversations recent past here we have a four of swords cutting off communication then we have here a king of swords which has rams on it These are spades. Spades are swords. He's holding the sword. He's wielding the sword. You may have to be very straightforward with someone today. Okay. We have your energy as five of swords. Um, these three cards are together. Five of swords. I'm sorry, this is the future. There may be something where, you know, you somebody's trying to win at all costs. They are fighting for what they believe is right. There's a lot of intelligence here. Um, there could be some kind of, I don't want to say revenge, but there's someone here who wants to outwit or outsmart the other person. We have your energy as loyal, the knight of coin. So we have you as being loyal and stable. The knight of coin. It's very steadfast. Loyal, makes an offer, is um, practical. 
In your environment, we have a six of pentacles, a gift, an offering, financial balance coming in, energy of Taurus, financial, stable, real offers. Okay, so we have a gift, we have an offering. Somebody decides to balance the scales out. Um, somebody helps you. It's the energy of being charitable and helpful. Your fear is Ten of Swords. Betrayal and, you know, ruin, feeling um, mentally drained betrayed or stabbed in the back. Underlying energy of Libra. You want something to be fair. King of Swords comes in. Somebody takes action. Five of Swords is the future. Is um, somebody trying to outsmart the other person? <laughs> okay. We have a King of Water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Highly emotional. Can be for good or for bad. It could be someone who's very emotional. They are ruled by their emotions and their feelings. We have the two of coin, the need for balance, juggling, the needing to make choices that are wise choices. So then we have here Ace of Wands and Four of Wands. The stable, happy home something that is inspiring so somebody around you everything balances everything balances out with the four of wands bottom of the deck we have the sun happiness optimism staying optimistic so the king of water is someone who perceives and feels a lot of things. They are feeling something before they're speaking. So what you have going on is people who are smart, witty, and intelligent, intellectual, who are, um, there's, you know, a desire to be helpful, but at the same time, there is an energy of arrogance. Okay, so your energy is loyal. You just sort of withstand everything with the knight of coin. You're the knight of coin, earth energy that's solid and stable. Um, why do we have this five of swords coming in for Aries? Why do we have a five of swords? The lovers, a choice or a need for unity, Gemini, temperance, a need to temper emotions, find balance, uh, a need to cooperate. Okay, what do we have for the King of Swords? Queen of Air. Okay, so we have this Queen of Air, we have Libra energy. Somebody who's witty and smart, speaking their truth, being articulate. What is the king of water? What is the king of water? With the two of pentacles, a need for balance, even though there might, the page of water, there might be something that is emotional and triggering. What is the Ace of Wands? The hangman with the world. So something will close out. Bottom of the deck is the King of Swords. Six of Air. The Fool. Three of Cups. It's almost like you have to do something about it now. It's like you tried to avoid this or you didn't want to do something or take action or make that phone call. But now you kind of have to, you, you have to do it because if it's making you nervous, concerned, worried, you have to step into the um, driver's seat. 
Okay, what is King of Swords? Okay, there's something here, possibly toxic or not right going on where you have to address it. Could be a Capricorn as well that you're dealing with. What is um, Six of Coin? Somebody's paying someone, being generous, helpful. Okay, your energy is the Knight of Coin. What is this Knight of Coin? Okay, I got a, a bunch of cards here. I got the Four of Wands, Stable, Stable Happy Home. I also got the Page of Coin and the Empress. So I have, you know, knowing your worth, knowing your value, and um, you might be having to sort of address something Take action, speak your truth, um, be witty, smart, educated, make an educated decision. They, because if something's driving you crazy, two of sorts, like you just can't figure out something, page of air. Page of air is like when you get gossip or something through the grapevine. You just have some ideas, you get some information, but it's not clear. We have two kings, a king of swords and a king of wands. This is like you have to address something. Ten of coin, secretive. Ten of coin with the high priestess, something secretive. All right. The outcome is good. You have a water sign energy and the ace of rods, two of pentacles. So to me that says you have to be the balancer. You have to be strong and stable and um, not allow some kind of overwhelming emotions to take over. Um, someone who could be trying to outsmart someone or be win the argument. They're wor they try to have like a battle of words. They want to be right. We have a king and queen of air with a four of air and then it escalates to a five of air. So your energy is earthy, which is grounded and stable, practical, loyal, um, not going anywhere. What you, what you get is minor arcana six, which is good, which is a balance. Six of the coins is like, let's not have conflict. Let's have cooperation. Char let's be chair. I'm going to be charitable. I'm going to help you out. Um, I'm going to elevate you a little bit. I'm not giving you Ten of Pentacles, but I'm going to elevate you a little bit. Um, because it does show that you're like addressing something that was causing you a lot of mental concern. Eight of Swords with the Queen of Wands and the Crossing. It's like this, this lit you on fire. Like, this is a problem that I have to address. I think if you come from a very grounded approach... Uh, ask your angels and guides to be there with you and put your feet on the ground and just say, you know, what is real, not Neptune, which is what is fantasy. Um, what is real and what can I do to make a difference here in a good way? So obviously it looks like something's bothering you. It has to do with words and ideas and thoughts or information. There is that element of Scorpio happening today with the moon in Scorpio where it's connected to Neptune and Uranus where you start to think of worst case scenarios like a rabbit hole. You start to go down a rabbit hole. Um, I don't see that happening at all. Oh, this is really, really interesting. So the cards I got here are Faith. Faith the side, uh, size of a mustard seed is all you need. And I actually had this thought last night. I was thinking, as I was about to go to sleep, I'm just going to start to have more faith in everything. Like, I'm just going to believe. Because we have here dispirited. This is where, like, something makes you feel bad. Like, you feel dispirited. You feel um, down, let down or down in the dumps what you get is immortality which is what i was actually thinking last night too you know what's the worst that could happen i mean don't i believe in heaven and god and angels yes 
So this is really interesting that even if something is getting you down, making you worried or concerned, having faith and then belief there is an afterlife. There is, this isn't it. Like we're here to learn and, and then move on. Some of you might need to have some chocolate. <laughs> the chocolate was on the bottom here. So I'm going to leave this here for you, Aries. This is your daily reading. Thank you so much for tuning in.